So in this lecture, uh, I will show you that how you will construct a mathematical equation, mathematical formulation for topsis. So in order to watch this video, you first need to go to my first video related to the topsis where I discuss a very simple example. I want to go on vacation. There are three different alternatives. One is Kalam, one is Murray and the third one was Hunza. So mean in that example, I discuss each and every step of this topsis. So now in this video, in short video, I'm just going to show you that how you will write because in most of the research paper in the methodology section, they already construct the mathematical formulation of this method. So as we have already discussed that we will construct two artificial alternatives. Uh, one is ideal alternative and the other is negative ideal alternative. Ideal alternative is the one where we maximize the benefit and minimize the cost because this is the nature of every human being. He, she want to get maximum utility, maximum facilities, maximum benefit while spending very uh, less amount of money, minimum cost. And negative ideal alternative is the one which has the worst attribute failure. So taxes basically select the alternative that is the closest to the ideal solution and farthest from the negative ideal solution. So this is basically the mathematical formulation. Taxes assume that we have an alternatives option and an attributes. Okay, so in the previous example, we have three alternatives and we have four criteria. So you need to understand and we have the score of each option with respect to each criterion. So then you remember that we assign weight to the criteria. We getting uh, weight from the expert. Okay, we fill survey and from that we get the score and we uh, calculate the average score and then we construct a, uh, a matrix XIJ score of option I with respect to criterion where we put each alternative against each criteria. So basically this is XIJ matrix. We have a matrix this which is M cross N matrix and then uh, there are two type of criteria. One is the benefit attribute criteria and the other is the cost attribute criteria. So let J be the set of benefit attributes or criteria more is better. So mean we want to get more benefit and less cost. And J, this one is dot be the set of negative attribute or kind. less is better. Less is better mean uh, uh, the, the, the maximum will be the cost and the minimum will be the benefit. So step one, as you remember that in the first step, what we did, we basically uh, normalize it. This step transform various attribute dimension into nine dimensional attributes as we have already discussed in that simple example, which allow comparison across criteria. Then what we did, we calculate with the sum with the square of that, okay, the criteria. Uh, we sum it and then we divide it. So as we already did this in the HP, we normalize it. Then what we do, we, uh, and we, in the uh, previous example, we name that uh, standardized decision matrix. Okay. Then what we did, we multiply the weights. You remember we assign three decision maker, Feroz, Amin, and Saad assign weight to each criteria. And then we calculate weights. How we calculate weights? We calculate the average. And then when we calculate that vector, so W, uh, J is the vector. Assume we have a set of weight of each criteria. So basically this is vector. When we multiply this with the uh, standardized matrix. So RIJ is the standardized matrix in the previous example. Basically, we give a name of standardized matrix to this. So when we multiply this, multiply each column of the normalized decision matrix by associated weight and uh, we will get in the step, uh, step three, uh, determine the ideal and negative ideal solution. So one thing you need to remember, this method is a little bit different from the method which we have discussed in the example. Some researcher use the analytical hierarchy process where they use the same uh, pairwise comparison matrix and multiply that pairwise comparison matrix with the weights. So you can also do that. So you will get this from the HP and multiply the weights of criteria with that HP uh, pairwise comparison matrix and then you will calculate determine the ideal and negative ideal solution. So you remember we calculate ideal values. So how we will calculate? We denote in that example with asterisk. So you not need to be confused with asterisk or asterisk. And how we will calculate the values of this? We will choose maximum for the benefit criteria and we will choose minimum for the uh, cost criteria. So basically we will conclude this. For negative, this is opposite with this one. And how we will write this? So in that example, we write it with S dash and, uh, and we choose minimum of the benefit and maximum of the cost. So if you understand that example, so I don't think so, it will be a big problem for you. 
Then in the step 4, calculate the, uh, the separation measure for each alternative. The separation from the ideal alternative is this one. So you remember what we do? We uh, subtract the ideal from this. So if you this from this minus this one because you are taking square. So you not need to be confused if you write this Vij minus Vj or Vj minus this one. Basically this is the father to ideal. So what you will do from each criteria values against each alternative, you will subtract the ideal value, then you will take square, then you will take the square root. Similarly, for the negative ideal solution, the same procedure, but now you need to subtract from the that matrix Vij um, or this minus this or Vij minus the negative ideal value. Then you need to take the square and then you need to take the square root. You will get Si, S this one, then you need to sum it. And then you need to calculate the relative closeness to the ideal solution. So that value, the, the, those alternatives whose values is near to 1, you will select that option. So in the previous, Hunza was the best one because that value was approaching to 1. So um, normally, uh, all the option, all the alternative will be, values will be lie between 0 and 1. And you need to choose that option which gives you the maximum value. So I hope that you understand. Thank you.